Well, in typical Chas Mayhew fashion, I've arrived late, and he's not even at his house yet. Um, typical. Don't, I don't even know what to say. Here he comes. Well done, Chaz. Only half an hour late. So, Chaz, what do you say? About what? Sorry for being late, Ben. By how much? Half an hour. And how long have we got to get to Hurst, Chaz? 15 minutes. No, 14. 14 minutes. And do you know whose fault it is why we probably won't make it in time? Well, I think there's a few <laughs> people at fault. Uh, namely, the people of Reading for all wanting to park in Holybrook car park at the same time. So today is exactly six days until Big Rose and going to the studio for the first time. Uh, so this is one of our last rehearsal times. Maybe the last rehearsal Yeah, the, time? the, the, the okay. The one. Uh, just to make sure that all the songs are up to scratch really and sounding good. Uh, we're bringing Adam along, who's producing and engineering the masterpiece. Uh, we're doing three tracks with him. Maybe yep. more if we have time. We so... can reveal that the songs that we'll be recording, the first song is called Dirty Stoner. We wanted it to sound like we were all really hammered. Yeah. At the start. Was... And then it goes into quite a sort of dancey little upbeat, rocky number. The second song is called River which was the first song that we wrote together. And then the, uh, the last song uh, is called Cut the Arse Through. Just a quick update, um, it's two o'clock and uh, we're not there. We, we made it, we're only um, only 20 minutes late. Uh, where should I go? Just go in front of the door. Go in front of the grand in it. No, go, go there. Fuck oh off, you died. Hey, it's arrived. Oh, good. Le Liam's pad of dreams. I have dreams. Two terabytes of porn on that. <laughs> he was telling me the other day. This is my set list for my swing stuff. Like It's not Jump by Van Halen. It's a swing version of Jump by Van Halen. Is it? And then you got the lyrics and then you go. I suppose they are quite like croony lyrics, aren't they? I get it on. I get up, and nothing brings me down. <laughs> you got it tough. I've seen, seen the, the toughest, toughest around. So Adam, uh, how would you how would you assess the situation now you've heard what you're recording? Um, I think it was a very good practice. Songs song sounding tight. One week to go. <laughs> ready, to get, ready to get into the studio. Superb. Uh, Riff sounding good. Do you do you have any concerns right now? Um, For example, I have a concern that I'm in in a band with two massive morons. Is is that something you worry about as a producer? I think maybe Ben, you might you might steal steal all the limelight in your band. That, that's oh really? Thing. Okay. He's just he's likely to take his clothes off. I, I think. Yeah. If he does that in the studio, I won't be able to concentrate. <laughs> Who would be able to concentrate with that package? Well, 
Yeah. It sounds like you may have seen it more times than me. Well. I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah, I mean, it's nothing to write home about. I'm worried about how hard you hit the drums and how many hours you can last for in the studio, Jess. That's, that's my only concern. My, um, my spine may fall to pieces. Liam just, um, oh. Oh. Liam just like Ooh. got the tenor that he owed for the band practice and just pulled up in his van and just lobbed it at me. Jess <laughs> 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 has been talking about your package on camera, then. I have. My what? My package? Yeah. I t- just something arrived for me in the post. Yes. Package. Oh. <laughs> 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 Brilliant. Right. Thanks, everyone.